Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make the vine ties for my Shroom Fairy pets. So, on my other pets, normally I crochet really long legs to tie around the arms, or um, you can crochet hair elastics into them. And if you want to do that one, you can find the tutorial here on my channel as well. But today I'm going to show you how to make these leafy ties that you see here. Alright, let's get started. Alright, to start the vine, we're going to make two leaves. And we need to start by leaving a 30 inch starting tail. So I'm just going to kind of guess at it. And then after you have your 30 inches, go ahead and make your slip knot. And then we'll start with a leaf. So for a leaf, you're going to chain seven. Starting in the second chain from the hook, first you're going to slip stitch Then you're going to do a single crochet in the next chain In the next chain you're going to do a half double crochet Then you're going to do a double crochet in the next chain. Now a half double crochet. And then in your last chain, you're going to single crochet three, but your last single crochet stitch is going to come around to the other side of the leaf. So we're going to go into one loop and single crochet two. Okay, so I have two single crochet stitches there and our next one is going to come over to the other side and we're going to do it into the other loop of that same stitch and we're going to single crochet one. All right, now we got to make another leaf, same way, chain seven. Slip stitch in the second chain from your hook. Single crochet. Half double crochet. Double crochet. Half double crochet and then three single crochet stitches in your last chain two on one side of the chain and one on the other side of that same chain stitch okay now we have the two leaves that are on the end of our vine. Now we're going to do 60 cord stitches and this is where our starting tail is going to come in. So to start a cord stitch you're going to take your starting tail and you're going to wrap it around your hook so you have two loops on your hook. Then you're going to grab your working yarn, yarn over and pull it underneath those two loops Okay, and then pull the starting tail tight here to tighten up that first stitch. And then we're going to keep going. We're going to do this 59 more times. So wrap it with your starting tail, grab your working yarn, pull it through. Okay, I've completed my 60 cord stitches. It's a close up on what those stitches look like. Now we're going to do 
two more leaves at the other end of our vine. So we're going to drop our starting tail at this point, chain seven. Make our leaf, slip stitch, single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, half double crochet, and three singles, two on one side of your chain, and one on the other side of the chain. And we'll make our last leaf, chain seven. Slip stitch. Single crochet. Half double crochet. Double crochet. double crochet and three single crochet stitches two on one side again and then one on the other side of that first chain all right now I'm gonna grab my starting tail and my working yarn and I'm going to pull it through this loop to finish off. So I have both strands, I have both strands of yarn here. Pull through Tighten up. Okay, and then all we need to do now is weave in our tails into this cord. When you're weaving in, make sure you're going through the strands of the yarn not just through all of the holes of your um, holes between your stitches. And repeat with your other tail. Alright, so once you've woven in your two tails, you end up with this cord. You're gonna make one more. So these are for the arms and the legs, and then you'll be ready to start your shroom fairy.